When you're graphing a rational function, how do you know when you have a slant asymptote or a diagonal asymptote or an oblique asymptote? Those all mean the same thing. Well, you know because the degree of the highest power term in the numerator is one degree higher than the highest degree term in the denominator. So see how this is x squared and this is x to the first? That's how we know we have a slant asymptote. But how do we find the equation of that slant asymptote? That's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna show you two different methods. This first method, because this is a linear factor, see how it's like x plus something or x minus something? We can use the synthetic division to find our slant asymptote. And the way you do that is if this is x plus two, I'm gonna put negative two here. And I'm going to put our coefficients in the numerator here, 2x squared, 0x, see there's not an x term, and negative 3. So to do that synthetic division, you drop down that first uh, number, 2, you multiply on the diagonal, you add straight down, you multiply on the diagonal, you add straight down, and this is your remainder of this last number. Since we're dividing by x to the first, this is going down by 1 degree, so it went from 2x squared to 2x to the first, minus four, so y equals two x minus four is the equation of our slant asymptote. Now sometimes you can't use this method, like in example number two where this is a, see how this is a quadratic uh, in the denominator here, so this is the second degree. We're gonna have to do long division, so let me show you that one. Again, notice the degree in the numerator is x cubed, this is one degree less x squared, that's how we know we have a slant asymptote. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do the long division and show you how to get the equation of the slant asymptote. Now you might be saying, Mario, uh, how come you didn't do anything with this five over here? Well, the five, the remainder, see you take the remainder and you put it over the divisor, which is x plus two, but as x gets larger and larger, meaning as you uh, go to the right on the graph, this quantity here is gonna get smaller and smaller. It's gonna approach zero. So we just end up with uh, the quotient here. You don't have to worry about the remainder because that term is gonna go to zero. So, but for number two here, we're gonna do the long division. So x squared uh, goes into x cubed how many times? That's one time. I distribute the x, I get x cubed plus four x. I subtract, okay, so these are gonna cancel. This gives us three x squared uh, plus 12. And then how many times does x squared go into x, uh, to three x squared, that's three times. So if I distribute, I get three x squared plus 12. Subtract, you can see there's zero remainder, but you don't have to worry about the remainder, just the quotient here. So y equals x plus three is going to be our slant asymptote for this rational function. If you wanna see more about graphing rational functions, check out the video right there, and I'll see you over in that video. If you're enjoying my, my video, subscribe to the channel. My goal for you is to make learning math less stressful so you can raise your grade, pass your class, and go on to pursue your dreams. I'll see you in my future videos.